Greetings. It is I. I return from my realm. That is the realm I have returned from. Hello. It's me. Just doing some tweeting and the like. Right. Just posting about the stream. Hello, it's me. I'm here. Um, we're working on paladin things for the next sort of hour or two, which is cool. Uh, I'll probably be going until about sort of half six, seven o'clock, most likely. Uh, but we're going to be working on Oath of the Scroll and Oath of Steel. Which are the, the two primary sort of new Paladin Oaths I want to add. Obviously we've added um, Oath of Freedom, which we did uh, last week, last Monday, which I'm, I'm very happy with. I think it's come out really cool. Um, I'm a big fan of all of these abilities. Um, Oath of the Reaper is something I'm considering, but um, it's... Uh, I'm considering maybe cutting or maybe keeping, I don't know, but I'm definitely keeping these two because they're really cool. So, to start with, Tenets of the Scroll. Teaching, knowledge, learning, growth, kill, um, what's the word? What's the word? The word for... Not knowing things um, begins with an I. In 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 it's, it's not innocence. It's hang on ignorance. That's it. I forgot what words were for a second there. So I'll, I'll write the tenets in my own time because it's not going to be particularly interesting. You watching me make them. But, um, coming up with a spell list for these guys could be very interesting. Um, because... My I immediate thing is comprehend languages and identify. Words are a lie. A deception. Hmm. So, I'm thinking dispel magic or counter spell at third level. I'm gonna go counter spell for now because that's giving paladins counter spell seems pretty sick. Um, legend lore. That seems very sensible. Hmm. Divination, maybe? Ar Arcane Eye. I l Ooh, I like. And let's let me go take a look at Let me go look at like Divination spells. Where are the schools? I don't see them. Oh, here we go. Let's look at, let's look at divination spells. That's probably and abjuration spells of second. Let's look at second level ones first. Arcane lock, augury, detect thoughts. Locate object. I like locate object. That's a good one. Mm. 
Mind Spike. Mind Spike is a maybe. That's a, that's a, that's a potential there. Let's look at third level ones. Beacon of Hope, Clairvoyance, Counterspell, Dispel Magic, Glyph of Warding. That's... Uh, oh, Intellect Fortress. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be Intellect Fortress. That's a good one. Yeah, Intellect Fortress is cool. So I've got fourth level ones next. Arcane Eye, Banishment, that's a good one. Divination, Locate Creature. Hmm. I like Banishment. I think I'm going to go with Banishment. And then... Banishing Smite, Commune, Contact, Other Plane, Great Restoration, Legend Lore. Rarys telepathic bond, scrying. It's got to be scrying, right? That's that's a that's a smart one. Let's go with let's go with scrying. I like that. It's cool. Right, we need a first level ability, which I think we'll skip over for now. Then we need channel divinities. Store away a spell. To a vessel for later use. Or into a piece of magical scripture that any creature can invoke. of parchment and scribe an incantation onto a, onto a piece of parchment When you do so, choose a paladin spell. Or choose a spell you know or can prepare. is inscribed onto the parchment.
um, any creature that holds the parchment and can read its contents. Using your spell attack. Using your spell casting ability modifier and proficiency bonus. Inscribe magic. Hmm. Can cast the inscribed spell using your spell casting ability modifier and proficiency bonus in place of its own. Oh, what is that um, artificer ability or artificer ability even? Give me a second. I need to go, like, read. Because this is very similar to an Artificer ability. I'm gonna go find it. Spell storing item. There we go. Creature uses your spell so we can do fire fire. Once this, uh, once the inscribed spell has been cast, or whenever you use a bonus action to will it so. And the magic is lost, and the magic is expended. That's cool. You can you can uh, use your channel divinity at the beginning of the day, for instance, and inscribe you know a set you know inscribe a counter spell and give it to like you know the like the dude in your party that never uses their reaction for anything, and be like, here is this. When someone goes to cast a spell, read this scroll. Keep this scroll on your person at all times. requires verbal components. There we go.
using verbal components or using the parchment as a uh, as a spell casting focus if required there we go Once the inscribed spell has been cast, or whenever you use a bonus action to will it so, the inscribed parchment crumbles into dust and the magic is expended. Okay, that works. I like that, that's cool. I think it's neat. Hmm. Ooh, hang on, what is that knowledge domain ability? Because this feels like the kind of class that should get the, that one knowledge domain ability, if I remember what it is correctly. Let me go read it. Where's knowledge? There it is. Yeah. It's like knowledge of the ages. That, that seems very appropriate here. exciting thing on the planet but it makes perfect sense for it to be here you know plus um, paladin in places gets you know um, copied versions of cleric channel divinities i think that's i think it's um very very uh, respectable oh tell that down just a little bit i might i might red text it just um just, just because it's not the most exciting thing in the world, so I might come back and be like, oh, I want to change this to something else. But, for the most part, um, you know, I think it's cool. Um, if I come up with something better, I'll probably put it there instead. But I'll do that in my own time. This is a strong start, I like this. Uh, before we work on a first, like an actual first level ability, intelligent skills uh, you got arcana history investigation nature I feel like there's one more that I've missed oh I missed religion You learn one language of your choice, and you gain proficiency in one of the following skills of your choice. Yeah, yeah you get a language and a skill proficiency. That's and and, in, and a specific skill proficiency that seems very appropriate. Now they need like an actual ability, uh, and they need an aura as well. I might go for the aura first, you know, because I have, I might have an idea, maybe. Do I have an idea?
starting at 10th level. Now we've got, a, we've got a couple roads we can take with this. Got a couple roads. I think the first thing I like is being able to prepare first level wizard spells. I like that. Um, first and second level wizard spells, maybe? I don't know. Um, or, uh, and there's also the idea of giving them the ability to cast... Um, Um, oh, what is it? Hmm. I kind of like the idea of them being able to read, ignore class and level restrictions for spell scrolls. So how am I do additionally? Let me go read spell scrolls specifically. Additionally, can car you can understand And you're considered to be able to cast ninth level spells. There we go. That's probably the cleanest way of writing that. The Oath, Oath of Oats. I am... I am on board with this. I'm on board with this idea. Um, additionally, you are considered to be uh, 20th level in every class for the purposes of casting spells using spell scrolls. So if a paladin finds a spell scroll of wish, they can just pick it up and go, I understand this. I can cast this right now if I want. Which is cool. Uh, it's 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 not a very powerful ability. It's mostly flavor. Um, though, though, then again, the wizard can say, "Right, I just spent the last couple days like writing down this uh, this this scroll of simulacrum. Here you go, paladin." And then the paladin goes, "Okay, right. I guess I'll have a read of this." And then they simulacrum themselves, which does sound amazing, to be fair. Um. 
Hmm. Let me just be. It. That sounds incredibly cursed. It's um. Is this is this is this a rogue archetype or something? That seems seems the most appropriate. Starting at tenth level. Or your spells of first level. Spells, first level spells from the wizard spell list are considered paladin spells for you. Okay. Increasing by one at. Oh, this isn't tenth. This is eleventh level. My bad. Arcane Teachings isn't incredibly powerful, uh, but it is really cool, which is, um, like, it's very good being able to be a wizard and, like, or not being able to be a paladin and have Find Familiar, or be a paladin and have Shield, for instance. Paladin with Shield sounds pretty sick, not gonna lie. Um, not to mention that you can inscribe all of these spells with your channel divinity, inscribe magic. So yeah, this, this is actually really cool. I really like this. Um, hmm. I guess, I guess we need to, we need to like pivot back and go and get like a first level feature. Nope. Oh, okay, right now. I understand what the issue is there, never mind. It's fine. So, first level feature for Oath of the Scroll. It could be... Hmm. Ooh! Oh, I just had an idea. I just had a potentially very spicy idea. Leon Arcana. Spend hit points from your lay on hands pool. Oh, and choose a level. And choose a spell level, fifth or lower.
you cannot grant that creature another spell slot until This is this is kind of bananas, actually. This is um. Hmm. So at first level, you give the wizard an extra spell slot every day, which is really, really strong. Uh, is it better than like having lay on hands at all probably not but it's still really good which i think i think this needs to be red red text but i like the ability i think it winds up being extremely powerful i think is kind of a problem but you can certainly give yourself a boatload of fifth level spell slots with this which is maybe a little a little problematic hmm i guess i guess um well that's not true actually. you can give yourself one additional fifth level spell slot i suppose the main thing to think about here is that at 17th level you have 85 lay on hands lay on hands so giving somebody a fifth level spell slot is probably worth it specifically yourself giving yourself an extra fifth level spell slot is probably legitimately very worthwhile but at the same time it's not the best thing on the planet like you are spending 20 from your pool of or 25 even from your lay on hands pool of 85 um you can give an extra fifth level spell slot to like three people, which is pretty pretty good, but if that's using basically all of your lay on hands at that at that stage. I think I I like it. I like it. It's cool. 
We need an aura now, though, which we don't have. We could go, like, take the oath, like, aura of warding. Like, there's there's a couple auras here that are the same. Like, there are two with um, aura of the guardian, of oath, uh, oath of the crown, and oath of redemption have that exact aura, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's Order of the Sentinel. Oh, it's fucking stupid. I think Aura of Warding seems probably the most appropriate thing to give them, but I don't know if I want to do it, you know? Ugh. Aura of... Aura of mana or something, maybe? Aura of... I guess it could be, yeah, it could be Horror of Arcana, or of Mana. Could be, um... It's temporary hit points, you could charisma modifier, which lasts till the start of its next turn. Yeah, that's, that's mostly pointless. If the caster was a hostile creature...
horror of channeling. That's cool. I like that a lot. That's that's actually really that's really cool. Arcane teachings, uh, and then we need a fifteenth level feature. So the main thing we're getting here is second level wizard spells. So Uh, no. Uh, this is my, this is my, well, this is my office space, I guess. This is just a room in my house. Oh. Oh, I just... I'm not too sure whether that light is the window or the... So there's a, there's a, there's a small, like, tortoise enclosure over there that might be the light. It may also just be the window, to be fair. Um, 15th level. Might skim over the 15th level feature for now and go straight to call it like um Guardian of the Weave, or something to that effect. Then we can just like copy like literally any of the text here. You can assume a form of an avatar of magic. For 10 minutes, or for one, just for one minute, you gain the following benefits.
You are considered to have all Paladin and Wizard spells of 5th level or lower prepared. Where is the um, Elder Champion? Here we go. I like this. We're going to go with that. Yeah, this is this is this is suitably powerful, I would say. You just like turn into like the magic man for like a minute. That's uh it's pretty good. That'll that'll certainly do it, that's for sure. That is obscenely powerful. I do kind of love it though. Need a 15th level feature? Hmm. Oh. Maybe something to, that works with inscribe magic. Maybe you can just like inscribe magic as many times as you want or something. I kind of like that. That's cool. Maybe something that works with Leon Arcana, but uh, Leon Arcana is already good enough, you know. Maybe you, um, maybe you get like a similar thing to um, oh, what is the um, spell resistance? Maybe you just get resistance to damage from spells. It'll just be um, arcane resistance. No, actually, no, that's not interesting. That's boring. Oh. Aura projection. I like. That. Okay, right. I have an idea. I have an idea.
As mentioned in your hand, you can cause the Holy Aura created by your Aura of Protection to move from your space. Move, to move from your space to a space that you can see within 30 feet of you. Or just to one that you... Um, And we call it recall it to your space and reattach it to you. I think that's that's a very niche ability, but it is very cool. You know, like it's so one, once you hit eighteenth, your aura is pretty massive. But the ability to just kind of like slowly move your aura around is is pretty useful. Like obviously, you don't you know you're always going to want to be in your aura, but you know. Being able to move it just a little bit further than you can to catch your ally in it is pretty good. I would argue, at least. Not to mention you can move it on top of the enemy spellcaster and chase them around with it so they can never cast spells without making a saving throw against your aura of channeling. Which I think is quite good fun. But yeah, I really like this. I, I think uh, o uh, Oath of the Scroll is cool as fuck now. I really like that. Um... Now, uh, we have Oath of Steel, in which I have left this note, which is Tank Paladin, Tank Paladin, uh, just repeated in increasing fervor. But, I think there's some cool ideas here, so... I think the, the idea itself kind of speaks to what it should be. Um... Oh, shit. Oath of Steel. Now, how tempted am I to give a paladin shield? I am very, very tempted, because that sounds awesome. It's exceedingly powerful, but it's fucking sick as hell, so... I'm, I'm seriously debating it, that's for sure. Um... I think uh, Warding Bond, definitely. 100% Warding Bond is going to go on there. And probably Death Ward as well. That makes sense. Other protection. Let's look at um, Abjuration spells. Um, that's probably the first place to look at, right? Absorb elements. Yep, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go with that one. Oh, do we give them absorb elements and shield? Because that sounds amazing. Armor of Agathis, Mage Armor, Sanctuary, Shield, Shield of Faith. You know what? Let's do it. Paladins with shield. Yes. This is what we're doing. This class is already amazing. It, we could give them any abilities and it wouldn't matter. He is a paladin with absorb elements and shield. Like, what are you even going to do? 
is this guy gonna die? No, he's not. Um, and that's super cool. Uh, aid, strong contender. Arcane, oh, hang on, what was the third level Oath of... Oh, I was Intellect Fortress. Honestly, though, I think I'm actually going to change it out for Glyph of Warding. Because I think that's way cooler. Um, warding Bond, protection from poison, pass without trace, lesser restoration. Yeah, let's go with aid. Why not? And then third level, we're looking at like Beacon of Hope. I say, um, Oath of the Scroll already has that exact ability that they, well, they get something. They get, they get, um, they cap at third level wizard spells. Stone Skin, if Stone Skin wasn't the worst spell imaginable, oh, well, Stone Skin is actually really an okay spell. It just costs a hundred gold to cast, so it's completely worthless. Um, it's a cool spell, and if it didn't have the stupid gold cost, I'd 100% give it to them. Um, but it does have the stupid gold cost, so I'm not going to give it to them. Um, third level, I kind of like Dispel Magic and Intellect Fortress. That seems... or Protection from Energy? No, that's, that's, um, that's, that's a, that's a dumb break in, um, in consistency. None of the other paladins do that, so this one shouldn't either. Un unless it was specifically in flavor for Oath of Steel to do that, um, which it isn't. Like, Oath of Scripture maybe could get something like that, and that would be cool, but, nah. Um... Uh, you're a paladin, you're never going to have less than 16 AC. Oh, I've also picked the two third, uh, second levels, so it's fine. I'm going to go with Dispel Magic and... Uh, yeah, Dispel Magic and Intellect Fortress, methinks. Fourth levels, we're looking at Death Ward. I have already done so, I just gave Oath of the Scroll Glyph of Warding. Um, I just changed it just now. I'm not sure if Glyph of Warding is, like, particularly all that fantastic. Like, it's a good spell, but um, I don't think it's particularly incredible on a Paladin. Um, it's just a cool spell and made a lot of sense for, for Scripture to get it. So they have it. Aura of Life? Eh. Let's go with Aura of Life and Death Ward. And then 5th level... Anti-Life Shell. That's, that's a good one. Circle of Power. Yeah, Circle of Power. Hell yeah. That spell's awesome. Yeah, wow, Circle of Power's really cool. That, that is a spell list right there. There is some king shit. Like, imagine a class getting Absorb Elements, Shield, Aid, and Death Ward, and Anti-Life Shell, and Dispel Magic. It's just like, we could give them literally, I said this before, but we could, we could give this Paladin literally any abilities we wanted. And it wouldn't matter because the spell list is so good. <laughs>
that's a bit of an overstatement, like, you know, it has to have to at least not be absolute shite, but you know what I mean, the spell list is, is insane. Um, but, um, alright, let's look at channel divinities, Just sort of copy the text, and, uh, It's got to be something like, um... Sound of any steel body, uh, you can. As bonus action. resistance to all damage. All damage except poison. Still get psychic resistance, but not poison resistance. So poison, an assassin slips right through your defenses and stabs you right in the face, and uh, you don't have a good time with that. You specifically have a bad time. So, that's kind of boring, but it's not, you know, the worst thing on the planet. It's, you know, it's, it's not uninteresting, I think, is, uh, is the main thing. It's uh, not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's not bad or boring. It's, it's very good. Giving yourself, like, a decent amount, a decent chunk of temporary hit points. That will do that. So you're like, 20th level, you're like, bam, 45 temporary hit points. The, well, I suppose it's it's technically 90 temporary hit points at that stage, which is maybe a little much, actually. Yeah, probably a bit much. It caps it. Which, it functionally gives you 50 additional hit points. Yeah, no, no, I'd say, I'd say this is fine. It starts out not very good, because it's like, y you give yourself what, like... 20, you, you, at, at, at level 3, you get probably about 6, so I suppose that gives you 12 additional hit points as a bonus action. Are you twice your charisma modifier? So realistically, your third level, you're going to have plus 3 charisma, most likely. Um, plus 3 charisma... 
You're looking at six, like nine, 18 hit points. Basically just doubles your hit point pool once, once per short rest, which is, yeah, then, I think this is fine, as is. Resistance to all damage, plus, whilst you have a, a like, a barrier, is pretty good, I'd say. Like, oh, the dragon is coming, it's swooping down towards us, I use my steel body, channel divinity, steel, 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 steel body, and will. Channel divinity. I don't think they've spelled Graz correctly here. No, they actually misspelt it. The apostrophe goes in here. It's Grazed. It's it's Grazet and not Grazed. Orcus doesn't seem fitting here. How do you how do you spell Fraser Blue? Oh, uh, it's oh, it's with U's. I was otherwise correct. I'll come back to this other channel divinity later on. I think. Or of steel. Now we've got a lot of directions we can go with this, and I kind of like... So realistically, at seventh level, you're still it's like plus one AC, like to everybody. But this will probably cap out as like, you know, plus two AC every time the first time it's about to get hit every turn, which is pretty okay. I think it it's if you have good stats, it starts out really really good. But once you hit sort of like tier four, it becomes kind of shit, um, especially if your stats aren't great. But if it, if it was equal to your charisma mod, then it would just be insane, right? It, it'd be, it would be insane at 7th because it would be just like a mini... It, 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 would, it, would, it would be a mini shield for free, and then if you had amazing stats, which theoretically you can have, or you focused charisma, which with this subclass you very feasibly could, um, you would have some something ridiculous like um like 30 like 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 30 what, what the fuck am i talking about you 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 would get like a free shield 
every turn. Once, once you cap your charisma, every creature in your aura gets a free shield every turn. Maybe... So it's kind of like a worse shield now. It's still free though. That's 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 the problem. It's it's still free. Yeah, I think I think I think this is this is nah. It's too much. Um. Hmm. Maybe... So, my, in my initial plan, I'm not sure how I feel about this, I think this is okay, but I don't know if it's very good. My initial plan was to have an inverse of Aura of Warding, which is... You reduce the damage taken, like, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage dealt by weapon attacks or something like that. But that is so, you know, the, the reason why Aura of Warding is mostly okay is because it doesn't trigger all that often. It only triggers on spells which most creatures don't actually have access to spells, right? Um, whereas this ability, if, if, if it was bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage, even if it was bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from weapon attacks, it would trigger like basically every turn, and minions would never be able to do any significant amount of damage. So that I am, I am ignoring here, I think. So, Aura of Steel... Or just Aura of Endurance, maybe? Yeah, let's just go with that. Or of, or of fortitude, because yeah, that, that that makes that seems sensible. Uh, I I kind of like aura of fortitude. Hmm.
Lay on shields. Actually, no, nah, no, nah, that's, that's uninteresting. Iron Assault. I'm not sure how to feel about this. I don't dislike it. I just think it's kind of weird. Whenever you hit a cre creature with a with an attack roll or with just with a weapon attack, I think it's probably weapon attack. You can use your bonus action to immediately grant a creature you choose a plus two bonus to its AC until the start of your next turn. Oh, there's a put the space in the wrong place then. I think I'll red text this for now, but I do kind of like it. Right, we need an 11th level. Um, starting from 11th level. 15th level. idea. I have a very interesting idea actually. Let me check something real quick. Oh no, hang on, I opened the wrong thing. I have a very interesting 11th level feature actually. It's very simple. Very interesting. Or is it?
Fortiguous. Fortidinous. Let me just make sure that means exactly what I want it to mean. Define for Fortitinduous. Fortitinduous. Yeah, I, I like the word fortitinduous. I am, yeah, I, li I like this word. This is a good word. You can withstand anything. Such as a green dragon's poison breath, or a... Oh god, what's a spell that forces a... hang on. Oh, here we are, yeah, this is a pretty iconic. Or a cone of cold spell. When you are subjected to a fact that allows you to make a constitution saving throw to take only half damage, you instead take no damage. So basically, it's constitution themed evasion, which is really good. Like, evasion is amazing. Fortidinuous might actually be better, um, because con saves I think are more common than deck saves. Um, but either way, that's really cool on a paladin. I think I I I I, I would I would like to think. Not to mention you're a paladin, so you're amazing at saving throws anyway. But yeah, that's a really cool feature. I actually really like that. I think I think that's really fun. Immortal Bastion. Wait, Immortal? Isn't the Immortal Bastion a thing from, like, Kingdom Hearts or some shit? No, it's from League of Legends. I'm thinking of the something else Bastion. I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm happy basing, basing it off of the Immortal Bastion from League of Legends, because that thing's fucking awesome, so who cares? Call it the Immortal... Uh, you can... You can... That's the one. Of power and fortitude. Of power and endurance. You'll automatically succeed on all constitution saving throws you make. That sounds really good. Let me just, uh... Resistance to all damage. Yep, that seems fair.
Is it called Hellish Resistance? It is. For example, if you're a tiefling with the Hellish Resistant trait that uses this feature, you would halve all f you would halve all fire damage you take, then half it again. Halving all fire damage you take twice. Yeah, that, that, that seems really good. <laughs> you automatically succeed on all constitution saving throws you make. So, imagine just taking damage, right? <laughs> um, so if you're, um, for example, if you are a tiefling who uses this feature, and then you cast Absorb Elements, you would, uh, you would take a sixth of damage. No, an eighth, sorry, of damage. So if you would take, like, a hundred points of fire damage, you'd instead be like, Nah, I'm going to take, like, 12, I think, <laughs> I think would be the actual result, which is amazing. So, like, um, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. Um... Need another channel divinity, I'm not entirely certain what to do with that one. Fifteenth level. Something that buffs iron assault. I can't, I'm kind of trying to think like, what subclass? What classes get like regeneration? Because I know pa um, like champions get it. At least I think... Is it champions they get regeneration? They do, right? Yeah. Endless Endurance. 15th level. Your... Your tenacity... Knows no bounds. If you have at least one hit point, you regain one hit point. You regain hit points equal to charisma modifier. Just imagine trying to kill this person. This is this is maybe. This is, I'm going to red text this because this is probably way too strong, but I'm going to keep it here for now because that's really fun. Um, whilst we are, oh, well, we, we literally just need a channel divinity, I think. Yeah, I'm going to come up with this channel divinity and then I am going to stop though because um, I I am very hungry um, and I want to go eat food, you know, standard, you know, normal stuff. Channel Divinity... Hmm...
No, I. Hmm. See, I don't know. This this just isn't particularly exciting. This isn't all that exciting. I, I don't know what to do or what to give them. There's plenty of cool things I can give them, but I can't think of anything. Divine protection. So that's really boring, and it's really just not very good either, given... There we go. Built-in Death Ward. Only problem is now is they have... They get Death Ward. And they have built-in Death Ward. Hmm. Hmm. We, yeah, we, 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 could, we could take Death Ward off their list. I mean, Paladins get Death Ward anyway, but... We don't want to, like, hyper encourage... I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna red text this anyway. I'm gonna red text this to I'm gonna um, C divine protection. A lot of this has been red text. I like a lot of these abilities, but I think a lot of them are just kind of a bit messy. But I do still like this idea. I think it's cool. Uh, and Oath of the Scroll is just fucking awesome. I, I love Oath of the Scroll so much. It's super cool. But either way, I'm gonna see if there's anyone to raid. There usually isn't. There is not, no. Either way, I will probably stop here then. I'll be back tomorrow though, where I'm going to hopefully finish up Paladin all together. Uh, I'm going to come back, go through a bunch of the red text stuff, fix it, uh, change it, do whatever. Um, either way, I'm going to sign off now, because I've got some things I need to do this evening. I also desperately need to go eat food, because I'm so hungry. Either way, thank you very much for sticking around. I will hopefully see some of you tomorrow. See ya.